It's exactly six years since Muammar Gaddafi was killed. Muammar Gaddafi's Prophecies I will not go into exile to any foreign country. I was born here in Libya, and I will die here. This country was a desert, and I turned it into a forest, where everything can grow. No one loved this land more than its citizens. If Europe and America tell you that they love you, be careful. They love the wealth of your land. The oil and not the people. They are helping you to fight against me but, it will be wiser for you to fight against them because they are fighting against your future and progress. My message to you the people of Libya is, they are helping you to kill me but you will pay the price because you will suffer. And my message to you America and Europe is, you will kill me, but be ready to fight a never-ending terrorism. Before you realize your ignorance, terrorists will be hitting you at your doorstep. Gaddafi once told the Nigerian and British governments to divide Nigeria into two, so that the Hausa slash Fulani, Muslims, Yoruba, Christians, and Biafran slash Igbo, can live as neighboring countries. It's good we look at these 16 real reasons why Colonel Gaddafi was killed. 1. There is no electricity bill in Libya, electricity is free for all its citizens. 2. There is no interest on loans, banks in Libya are state-owned and loans given to all its citizens are at a 0% interest by law. 3. Home is considered a human right in Libya. Gaddafi vowed that his parents would not get a house until everyone in Libya had a home. 4. All newlyweds in Libya receive $60,000 dinars, 50,000 US dollars, from the government to buy their first apartment. 5. Education and medical treatments are free in Libya. Before Gaddafi, only 25% of Libyans were literates. Today, the figure stands at 83%. 6. Libyans taking up farming as a career, they received farmland, a farming house, equipment, seeds and livestock to kick-start their farms, 